my pagan ancestor Zuri, a parallel journey, Christchurch to Stonehenge. Um, so there's a little bit of history and more um, personal story and what may have happened all kind of combined into this one book. Like it alternates between Zuri and the author. Um, and it's in Dorset, England, a journey between the two, like I said, and it's story-like. I have a feeling this video is going to be this and a few other, and the other ones I'm going to do will be echoey. Um, there is history laid in between the two stories, but the Zuri story is more like what was likely the day-to-day -day life. But on this journey, because at the beginning, beginning there is a, like a map of the starting and end point so what would have may have happened between um those two points um and what the author's journey was as well uh so you go through uh, like things like her um sorry her daily life um romans coming in christianity a stone uh, burials so So you kind of can see the map there. It's very basic kind of map. So uh, chapter one, like it starts out, a warrior lies adrift in my Christchurch street, recumbent and silent, the only resident in possession of a plot with no postcode. In truth, he never needed postcode because he could never read nor write, yet his predecessors built a wondrous temple that we now call Stonehenge. So, um, the Romans, when they invaded Dorset, filled in some of the spaces between the dots in my story. In their actions and in their writing, they tell us a little about how tribal development had occurred in this country. So, there's that as well. Uh, Zuri's people may have used a synodic cycle of it with annual solar corrections. They ritualized the shortest and longest day of the year at Stonehenge and, unlike Islam, needed fairly precise dates. So, like day in the life, um, the fall of pagans, uh, Cicero sisters, so, uh, postscript, um, yeah, um, like it's okay, um, I, I won't pick it up again, not, I, I don't know what I was thinking was going to come out of this, but, um, it's been a mangled. Um, um, but some people may like the more story like aspect of it with a little bit of history. It's supposed to be a non fiction piece of work. Um, it is, but to me, it's more story like. Um, but a lot of other people would likely like it. Um, but yeah. My my pagan ancestor Zuri, happy readings.